Hey, YouTube. Suits back. Another guess what? Bolton's back on the menu, boys. Yeah, that's right. I went to the car boot today, and it's a Saturday. And it's like them fucking apples. Very strange. Um, but yeah, a friend of mine, he uh, so I said, I'm going to his car boot. This is Thursday, I think. He works nights. I'll pick you up um, Saturday morning. So I was like, yeah, fine. Did all right. Bit of a buyer's regret, possibly. Um, I was a little bit cheeky. I thought I could... I don't know. I was a little bit naughty. Cause there wasn't actually one game in it that I needed. Um, but I was at that point where I hadn't bought anything. Come to that later. Anyway, what we have got, though, is a fucking outstanding purchase of a fellow tuber. Some nice face bait and some all right bits from um, you know the charity shops and stuff like that. Oh, I'm on eBay and the eBay story I'll update you on that. So yeah, talk about updates. Um, we're still ongoing with Bayonetta Gate, Bayonetta 2 Gate. I'm not very impressed with Nintendo's customer service at the minute or customer support. I obviously contacted them. Was it Wednesday or Thursday when I got the game? Near enough the same day. Didn't get any response, not any acknowledgement of the email, which is not very good. So I sent another one chasing up saying, I have a couple of days later, I haven't heard anything. They come back, apologised. Um, I basically told a little bit of a fear. So said, look, this, this was an intended present, etc. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, he said, right, we'll be back in contact with you 24 to 48 hours. I gave it three days. So that would have took me to Friday, just gone didn't hear a diddly fucking squat so I chased them once more saying I still haven't heard they then said they're trying to source me a replacement from somewhere uh, Scott take a sat and said they're actually selling the, the original print as part of a bundle so they kind of do have them and I would expect as he mentioned that they would keep ones in stock for cases such as these things going missing etc so fingers crossed and everything I still haven't opened that fuck it it's still there I'm leaving it I'm just going to see what comes out of this um, so yeah that's Bayonetta Gate now I did air or mention or refer to um, an eBay purchase that wasn't it's something I've already got I think this one would have been, would have been in better condition now, I say word that gives a game away I haven't got it and I'm fucking fuming so what it was uh, was a bid for a super scope Super Nintendo Super Scope boxed, so boxed the freaks there, you know, didn't go into any great detail, admittedly, um, but equally the seller had a couple of Nintendo NES bundles, uh, one game was after, which is Castlevania, so, so the story is, the scope ended on the Friday, like midnight, like Saturday morning, so I'd won it for some ridiculous, like £3.50, which was a bargain. Uh, Prior to me bidding on it, I asked the user, the, user, the seller, um, that's work mode user, uh, would you be willing to post? They said, yeah, we'll post it. So I thought, okay, because they'll post that. They've got this NES bundle and uh, something else as well. It might have been just some loose NES games, I can't remember. You know, forgive me. But anyway, I thought, well, what I'll do, I'll bid on this one. If I win this one, I'll have a look at the other ones. And if I win them, I'll just pay one lot of postage kind of thing, you know. Especially with, like... Collect Plus now and my herms and all them kind of stuff. It's about five quid, you know. You, in terms of bulk items, it's actually work. It works better to send bigger items. So anyway, so I said to him, yeah, great, fine. So won the item on the midnight of the Friday, so sort of Saturday morning. So sat there watching uh, the NES and stuff, uh, which was due to finish on the Sunday after Sunday evening, like about eight o'clock. So I had nothing I could do. I've still got a couple of days to pay, you know, there's no, whatever, they didn't even send me an invoice to pay either, so, you know, I, I just assumed that they were happy, so it was only like the Saturday, the Sunday, it's only two days, right, and ordinarily I would have just paid straight away, but don't forget, they, there was no invoice sent in terms of the postage either, right, so that's in my defence, um, so these are items ended on the Sunday evening, like Sunday at 8 o'clock or whatever, <laughs> 9 o'clock, something like that, so I come back from work on the Monday evening, obviously seeing I had money on foot bollocks, there was a message in my inbox saying, um, you didn't pay for the item, um, so I'm cancelling the order. I was like, no, I don't think so. I was like, I didn't even bother like trying to, I said, oh, I'm going straight to fucking eBay, I can't be doing it. 
So basically complained to, to, to eBay, which is a bit of a ball ache. Um, they obviously had said, yeah, that contra contravenes our, um, you know, con it's, a, it's, a, it's a contract, it's on to a contract. At which point, I think that was like six o'clock by eight o'clock, the, the seller had contacted me and said, oh, please pay for your item. And obviously quoted me um, sort of like £6.50 postage, which I thought, fine. It was like raw mail, 48 hours. I thought, fine, that's not a problem. So about nine, £9.50 or something like that, 10 quid for cash. For a box SNES scope, still pretty good, right? So I paid the money, that was it. Uh, that was on the Monday. So went off, I think it was Monday or Tuesday. No, sorry, Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, there's a message again from them saying, Oh, we've checked the item and the scope bit at the top, the sight bit's missing. Do you want a refund? I went from a pub, I said, No, I don't want a refund. Please send the item. I said, Given that the item wasn't as described, I wouldn't mind a partial. Uh, a partial refund, i.e. it's not as described, but give me a couple of quid and I'll try and source a scope myself. That's how I left it. So I thought, they'll send the item anyway, and, you know, they may give me a pound fifty back or whatever, I'd be happy. Just as a point of principle. So that was it. So then the Thursday and the Friday, I was like, 48 hours, where's this fucking scope? Went and checked. They fucking cancelled the order. And uh, just refunded me. Not even told me they refunded it, just refunded me. Fucking, I was ballistic. I was like, you bastards. Now, I didn't realise this, but I could actually still leave my feedback. So that was it. Fucking negative. Fucking block capital. Scamming fucking wankers, you bastards. Exactly. And I thought, you know what? Bollocks that. I'm going to go one fucking better. Phoned eBay up. Well, I didn't phone eBay up. Tried to, like, raise another case, which is an absolute ball ache with eBay. Because apparently they said, oh, we're going to try to raise it against that item. It's something like, you can't do this. This is in the hands of PayPal. So the, 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 this seller obviously knew what he was doing. Um... What I forgot to mention was when he'd cancelled, when he'd sort of said to me about, oh, I've cancelled the order, um, which I hadn't paid for yet, he'd relisted the item at 25 quid, buy it now. And when eBay told him they had to, he had to send it to me, when I checked again, he took the item off. So anyway, obviously he knew, or she knew, whoever it was. Um, so obviously there was this, took my money back, fuck all their right for negative feedback. Tried to raise a case, and I think he must have refunded me via PayPal, not via eBay, um, because of some some words word into the effect of um, we were unable to do anything with this because this has been um, resolved via PayPal. So what I have to do is basically click this button, say contact contact me, and PayPal, uh, yeah, eBay would phone me up. Uh, to which point I spoke to some American lady and just basically just told her the story and she was really nice to be fair um, she fully understood and she was obviously going to put a mark against it she said look you're not going to get your item so I know that I, said, I just don't want anyone else to get scammed by the bastards so yeah what would have been a quite a nice little sort of you know winning bid turned out they're just the fucking swankers but what can you do a bit long winded but you know I was a little bit annoyed at that but, yeah, so eBay Gate and uh, Bayonetta 2 Gate. Not had a good fucking week, lads and gills. Guys and gills, not at all. <sighs> Trick or treat last night. Took my kids out. Quite interesting because the wife deems it's begging. She didn't like the, the girls doing it. So we would just did some pumpkins here, put them outside, and the kids would come into the door. And because uh, my mates would go to the car boot this morning, uh, I sort of said about. Uh, half six or something like that, seven o'clock. I've got to pop up to the shops to get some money out, and they were all they were all dressed up, answering the door to the kids, and it, it's killing them. You know, and uh, so she re relented a little bit. Said, "Oh, we got your dad. If there's any house, we only go to houses that are, like decorated. You know, that are sort of doing Halloween, if you like." And uh, yeah, we took the dog, and we did quite a bit of a lap actually. So they they, they were quite happy after that. So yeah, a bit of Halloween. That it. Right, shall I show you what I've got then? <laughs> Fucking get as bad as Dazza. Fucking waffle on. For fuck knows how long. We'll not, not show you anything. Right. Reiki, reiki, reiki. First thing. So I can move this out of the way. This is from good mate on here. Russ. Russ Newton. He did a... Um, no, I think it might have been on Teletubbers. The Facebook page. Oh, I can't remember now. Somewhere he advertised, he said, oh, I've got two items, were anybody interested in them? The, the, 
one of them, I was straight away, I was like, yes, I'd be interested in that. Fate. I spoke about this before. Fate plays a huge part in everything. And uh, I was like, yeah, yeah. And we sort of, private message, worked out a price that he was happy with, I was happy with. I think he, he, he got a bit concerned with the size of it, but I reassured him, said, look, trust me. You know, I've sent um, a lot of stuff off to Phil, Phil Kett, uh, using this courier, uh, Klet Plus. And they're quite lenient, because I think how it works is if, if the shop takes the item, the the driver or whatever can't refuse to take it. It's it's up to them to sort of ensure that it's within the limits. You can get away with a little bit. One of them boxes of Xbox said I said to Phil was one the, the the amount which was like ten kilos, and I think I went I think I put an extra two kilos in and still got away with it. So um, yeah, I, Russ, had, Russ had messaged me. Um, one of the days, and it was when Bayonet had, had turned up and it's Fox and that, and I completely misread it. You know when you read something and you don't read it properly, and I, and I just said, uh, he said something like, oh, if I haven't got, if I can't, there's about three or four shops in his area, because I'll, I'll try this one and it won't take it. Or so, well, I read it like, he's tried to take it to the shop, but they won't have it. And uh, I, I completely misread the whole thing, so I do apologise for that, Russell. I know we, we had a bit of a laugh and a giggle like that, but it was, I was just that pissed off and wound up. With Bayonetta 2 that I, I completely misinterpreted that. Well, I didn't misinterpret it, I just fucking read it wrong, because I'm a twat. Right, anyway. <laughs> There's a note. But that's work. There's a note from Russ. Hi Stuart, hope the box survived the trip. It did. Hope all is well, etc. I've included a couple of Play Expo specials. Right, so these specials are now currently chilling in my freezer because um, I did leave them in here stupidly enough because I was going to I don't know why I was just being a dumbass but Russ was very kindly sent me two cans of uh, red stripe so yeah one can was, was was okay the other one had a few dents in it um, uh, XY specials uh, he, he, yeah he was, said he's, he's trying to get Molly what he said something out, something gravy, and I was like, what the hell is that? I've never heard of that. But she does like pig ears, so he said, I'll try to get the mud pig ears, but both pet shops locally didn't sell them. Uh, all the best, Russ and little Frank. So yeah, he's got a little little sad face. But yeah, the dog loves fucking pig's ears. I've got uh, some trotters with chicken in, obviously like uh, hoops with chicken in. You know what? What did I buy uh, uh, last week or in the week? Uh, beef jerky, buffalo beef jerky. Fucking that stuff stinks, man. Don't eat dog that. Fucking hums like hell. Which looks a pig's ears. So that's from this is from Russ. I'll get to it, honestly. It is. None of that. Then a twin stick X Arcade. So this is obviously well put together, well put together stick. Um, I know there's some of the sort of uh, hardcore um, arcaders, I, I, I think they're split an opinion or they don't really, I think that, that, that this is not well, that well received. I don't know, I mean, I, I can guess why, because it's more of a commercial product. But what this does very well, it, it has multiple um, adapters that you can plug into to nigh on any sort of retro console. Um, so yeah, you've got all your all your configs and your buttons there. Obviously, more than the buttons you, you, you'll ever need. Um, I think they're the insert coins. I, I do believe they're the, the insert extra coins and then the one player, two player. So this this is ideal. I think when these come out oh, years ago, it was mainly for main, very big up for, for, for your main stuff. Obviously, as it, you know, as you, as you can imagine, um, buttons are micro switched. Oh, the joysticks are micro switched. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing you can't hear it because they're quite well. I mean, it's quite a dense unit. It's not, you know, it's not light. I mean, it's light enough to sit on your. I think because of the width of it, it's quite. It spreads its weight quite well, so it's quite comfortable to actually sit on your lap with it. Um, but yeah, so what comes with this? Well, what Russ had sent me with this is that it all runs off these serial leads. Uh, I think they're eight pins, aren't they? Can't count two, four, six. Nine pin, nine pin serial lead. So this is an adapter, obviously a USB adapter. Now I don't know, and correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, I, I did say to myself, do you know what? Because there's a little slidey switch here at the back. 
So I don't know either what the DIN socket's for. I'm guess so this one here is obviously the adapter. I don't know what that DIN socket's there for, and I ain't got a clue what that slider's for. I did say to he just sort of say you could probably you know I did say I'll Google it. So yeah, but there's bound to be a PDF, but I don't know what that button does either there either. Anyway, sometimes it's nice for you guys to tell me stuff. So if anyone doesn't know, let me know. Um, but anyway, equally, so this is a USB adapter PC. Now I don't know if that would work on the PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 2. I did look on eBay for other adapters, and there is one, from, but they're in America, it's not over here, which is right piss up. Because about 18 quid, but I'd, I'd buy it because it's a 5 in 1. It's Dreamcast, PlayStation 1 and 2, Xbox, and something else, I can't think of it. But what, it what it will do for the PS2 will allow the two sticks. So like for Robotron and uh, Smash TV and stuff like that, and which I thought would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, and then the other adapter, which is what just mainly what Russ was using it for, is uh, a Dreamcast one. So again, you've got your sort of serial lead uh, into the little adapter. So it all, all runs off these adapters, and they all connect via the serial leads, if that makes sense. Um, so that is absolutely awesome of Russ. Uh, you know. Thanks for sort of you know the deal. Essentially, Russ, I'm pretty sure that the uh, the, the funds will go to some uh, certain goodness. So what? Really, I mean, I would be interested in that anyway. Um, but I told you, it's fate. Things happen for a reason. And I don't. You won't. You guys probably won't remember. I'm sure he will. <laughs> I picked, I picked this up, I traded this, I got gifted it, because um, I, don't, I don't think it's like a freebie, it's just a box of goodness that come from my mate Paul Griffo, and it was um, an X-Arcade GameCube adapter, which is here, so again, all these little breakout boxes, and there's the GameCube adapter, so I can, I've, I can play it on PC, Dreamcast, GameCube, and I don't know, depending on that, that USB connection, maybe... Um, uh, PlayStation 2, maybe, but I don't know because I don't know if, if the PlayStation 2 and the USB ports, if it's only for the, the light guns, probably no, my look, or even PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, maybe. Hmm. I'll have to do some research. Research, do you research? Do you? Right. All right, one can down. Okay, now last video was only one can long. I need a red stripe. I could have a beer can sandwich. A couple of slices of bread. Right. Um. eBay. This was 99p. I think it's two quid postage. End up winning it. I don't know why. I was just in a stupid mood. I wasn't pissed, Daz. I know Dad's got this, um, he doesn't like going on eBay when he's drunk, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't pissed, it was in the week. It's in, it's in quite good, other than a typical satin box, the plastics come away, and it's just, uh, NH, just NHL All-Star Hockey. And uh, honestly, to be fair, the actual outer box and everything like that is, is fine. The disc's got a couple of scuffs on it, but it plays, so I thought, you know what, for three quid, fuck it. And I don't know why, I don't know what it was, I think I was looking at some outs that this user was, this user. This person was selling, and I seen this and thought, oh, actually, that's quite a good nick. Especially for, you know, a sports title and uh, a satin case. So that's charity, that's charity, mate. Right. I might change this to change this game. Let's, um, let's try. Where is it? Have a look at Mega Man Legends. Oh, while well, that's loading up, I did hear from my friend at work that Smash Brothers Wii U is coming forward a week into November, I think. 
I don't know what truth there is in that. Come on, come on, lad. So yeah. I'm still to play Bayonetta too. Oh, it was good to see the two fat bastards. Well, nice, nice having Scott on there. Right, we'll leave that trucking along. Um, yeah, it's fine. Right, anyway, so next couple of items. Should I leave these? I've got some face bay. Actually, I'll leave the face bay. Do a little bit of charity shop. I actually got these today. Um, so I've been to the car boot. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good price. Anyway, I've been to the car boot. And I thought I'd just pop into town. I had to get pig's ear. Funny enough, I did buy a pack of pig's ears for us, uh, for the dog. Because uh, the wife had forgot to tell me. At the car boot, I think they were uh, 70p or something. Um, anyway, so I had to go up there. So I thought, fuck it, I'll go up and have a walk round. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. There's a shop that I go into that some, they don't really put the games out, which is, I found was absolutely bizarre. They usually send them off to some of the store. And I said to the late, you know, group of old birds, I've mentioned them before, I said look I'll be happy to, to put some money in your tills, and they're like oh great because you know, it, I said it's look, it's revenue you wouldn't have had, anyway, so this is this shop, because I was a little bit later, they put these out, and uh, when I saw them I grabbed them, I looked, looked through them, there was a Tiger Woods one, and was there another one, it weren't very good, I can't remember what it was, I know one was definitely Tiger Woods and one was something else, I thought nah I know that's shit. I grabbed these three, £1.50 each. Um, one of them I was like straight away I'm having that. The other two I took a punt on and one of them's worked out quite good, especially for CEX trading, if I wanted to do that. So I've got Xbox 360 titles. So Need for Speed Shift. And as you can see, £1.50. Got no manual. Um, £1.50 is probably, I think it's about, I can't remember. I think £1.50 or two quid is about what you get in, in trading for CEX. It's probably about a four pound game actually. The other, this one is actually about eight quid. Eight quid trading. It's one pound fifty. This one is complete. It's got everything in it. And it's Test Drive 2 Unlimited. Yeah, Test Drive. No, Test Drive Unlimited 2. Sorry. Do apologise. Uh, again, one pound fifty. So yeah, that was all, all there. I, I, I might just keep, the, keep them. And this was the one I was after. And unfortunately, it's got no manual. So anyone's got a manual for this, let me know. They probably haven't because it's relatively newish. Uh, and it's Fi King of the Fights 13 Dulux Edition. So it's got both discs as well. And again, it is 150. So yeah, the old birds are happy. Going, oh, we wait for you. You didn't turn up. So we thought we'd put them out, and you'd see them there. And I went, well, it's a good job because some other bugger would have had them. <laughs> Taking a piss, like, because to be fair, I was a little, I was sort of later than I would have normally been. See, that's how bad it gets. They didn't expect me to turn up. On a Saturday. It's not right, is it? It's not right. It's not normal. No, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. If I leave that, I might go to some sort of a, a track mode, I'm hoping. Right. So across the way to another charity shop, they um, very rarely get games in. Looked on the shelf, there's a couple of PS3 games. Now, there's a couple, they were like two quid each. <laughs> And there was a few of them I was like, uh, was it Fuel, oh, something else, might be Army of Two, I don't know. Some some ones that I thought, you know what, they're not worth two quid, I know that. But there was this one here and I thought, limited edition, nice box, it's probably got to be worth two quid. Uh, these were quite big on the PlayStation 1, so it's Ace Combat, Assault Horizon, limited edition. So... One ninety nine. I mean, it's got the, it's like a booklet in there, and everything else. Two discs. Quite a nice little um, set, actually. Let's play for We've got Lego heads. Look, well, should should be lucky. That's copyright. So, right, yeah. And then the last two. These are from another shop that the guy knows me. Oh, I've got, I've got some games here. Pulled out a stack of Xbox games. <clears throat> there was another one that I was in, nearly bought, which is the Bard's Tale. But I thought, nah, I'll fuck it, because I bought them of the games there. So I grabbed this and this, £1.50 each. 
obviously I'm not collecting for the Xbox, but I know this is a pretty good trade fodder. Voodoo Vince, in absolutely brilliant condition. I, I'm honestly, I don't think that manual has been. I don't think it's been touched by human hands. And the discs. Well, it's got a few little, but nothing. Never that's, that that'll play all day long. Yeah, so uh, Voodoo Vince, and I'm pretty sure Voodoo Vince isn't 360 compatible. But uh, a great looking little game actually. And then the other title I want to see, and I just thought, man, I'm having this fucker. Only problem with it is, looks like it's uh, the dog's had a chew at the corner, not my dog. Um, so on the PlayStation 1 is Resident Evil 2. A few stickers on it which will come off. Uh, both discs. But yeah, looks like sounds like a good go at the manual. Yeah. So that was it from the charity shops. Now, face pay. I've got a couple of nice titles. These weren't cheap. Well, relative. It's not car boot cheap, not charity shop cheap, but they are retail cheap. Um, I don't really sort of frequent or haunt the Facebook pages that much. If, if I see something pop in my feed and it piques my interest, that's that's as much as it is. As it is. So there's a chap there uh, that, that had a few bits for sale. Um, now he, he was sort of saying something about bundles and this, that, and the other. He, he was confusing everybody. So I ended up just saying to him, look, how much are your Mega Drive games? He went, well, all of them. I said, well, I thought you were selling them all as a bundle, you know. I said, well, look, if you're not selling them all as a bundle, oh, I'm interested in this, 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 and this. And uh, it took him ages, I mean, fucking ages to come back. It was pissing me off because he kept then responding to other people's questions about other stuff. I said, have you got a price for these or not? Because it was just getting stupid. And what it was, he said, oh, I can't find a price for this particular game. I said, well, what do you mean find a price? I said, on eBay. He's like, yeah. I said, well, not if it's on eBay, mate. I said, what, what do you want for the other two? Give me a price for the two and we'll work some out. You know, it's almost like, oh, I can't be less than eBay. Just fucking say, well, look, what, what do you want for it? Why, why do you have to be governed by eBay? You, you've got no, obviously, you had no knowledge of the stuff. This is what pisses me off sometimes when people who start to get into retro do this. Because all they have, the only barometer, the only gauge they have is eBay. And if it's not on there, then, oh, oh that fucking comfort zone. Oh, we're going to get ripped off. Well, look, you shouldn't be in this fucking game if you don't know what you're doing then, should you? You it, 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 I was getting really annoyed, man. <sighs> anyway, so there's a tactic to this lot. What do you want for them to? Tell me what you want for them to, and we'll work some out for the other one. So I basically sort of said, What you want for the other two? And, and, and well, like 15 quid each, so 30 quid. So look, we should do it for 42 or something like that. I mean, he, he come back and said 48. Including postage, which is fine. Transpires that one of these, because I can only go by pictures, uh, it's my own fault a little bit, but it turns out one of the fronts is a kind of repo. Well, it's not kind of, it is a repo. But it's very weird repo. And you'll see why in a bit. So, three Mega Drive games. Now, one of these, I had the opportunity of buying from crack converters ages ago in a massive bundle but they wanted 20 quid for it and I only wanted the one game and the rest was just shit um, so it, it's kind of worked out to my favour because I think I paid again 15 quid posted if you think about it but realistically it was going to cost him 5 quid to post them so 40 quid 3 three, you know, three into 40 whatever you want to put you know, 12 pound 50 or whatever whatever it is um, Shmup, it's Twin Hawk. And to be fair to the guy, these are in fantastic condition. Got no problems with these at all. Yeah, traditional arcade, as you like, shooter. Very good. Next one, I remember Pete Snestastic when he had his um, Super Nintendo. Grab this one. Look quite good. It's quite a sort of after title. And again, 
don't get me wrong, you know, the guy's not a, he's not a scammer or anything like that. He's very good with his prices. He just, it, it, it was just this last, not this game, but the one after this. That, I don't know, just annoyed me. But anyway, the other one I've got is Donald Duck, uh, Maui Mallard. Again, in fantastic condition. Now, this this one is suffering from the typical blue label um, syndrome where the labels start to peel. Any of these blue label ones, whatever fucking glue they use, is shit. And they always, they always, have, they always end up with sticker peel. So I'll have to get some, uh, some print stick on that. But yeah, Donald Duck, Maui, uh, Maui Mallard, very good platformer. Um, I say I watched Pete's on the, on the Super Nintendo. Right, so the point of contention is this game here. So I contacted him anyway and said, look, this particular game, it's everything in, in the innards are fine. The innards are fine, I said, but the insert, I said, but at, on inspection, because when I've, I've opened them up, I've looked at the front, I've gone, opened it inside, it's all there, great. Gone back to the guy saying, got the games, absolutely superb, blah, 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 right? Then I've gone to Retro Collect, added them in, looked for this, couldn't find it, I thought, okay, maybe it's called something different. So I googled the name because I know it's called something different in the, in the US, I believe. And I looked at the picture, thought, it might not look like that. And then it's, then I've gone back and looked at it again, and I've, and I've looked at the spine, and I've gone, that ain't right. Looks at the back, goes, that definitely ain't right. So I went back to the guy and said, look, the the, the, the inserts uh, repo. Um, and he was like, oh, but it's a button. I said, look, I know it's, I know you wouldn't have known, but it's a repo. It's that new, and he went, oh, if I see one cheaper, I said, what on eBay? So I bet, what I, I think what he was trying to say is that he was sending me back, I thought, no, it's bullshit, you're not going to do that at all. So look, oh, what I said to him, look, send me four quid back, and I'll be happy. I ain't heard shit yet, I'll, I'll contact him again. It's still a pretty good price for what I've got. But I've never got it with a proper insert, really with a fucking steel. So the game in question is Aero Blasters. Japanese Mega Drive. So those that know, and don't forget, I'm working for a picture for Facebook, and it weren't the greatest picture either. But so the key the salient points basically is there's no strap lines across the top, which you, you couldn't, you probably wouldn't really. That's all I've seen up get. Unless you, you know, I'm not that clued up to be honest. So I, I could have should have clocked it from that. Then there's a, there's a spine which does. He's actually the right words, but there's no Mega Drive logo there. And equally, I think there's some outs there, but the, the, the killer is the back. And which there's no text. So, what's weird, see, what I don't get is when you look at the original, or the, you know, the, the, the proper one of this, there's text all around here and stuff. So, ordinarily, when people have like photocopy and not reproduction it, the whole thing would be reproduced. Equally, like, there's, there's nothing across the top. Do you get what I mean? It's, I, I don't get how this has been done. It's, it's almost like it's a half-finished one. So I don't know if, there's, if there was any, any of these that were ever produced that were kind of like done incorrectly. Because there is a code at the bottom, which is, which is weird. So again, like I say, if you, were, if you were forging them, you were just scanning the original and just, you know, producing them. The original would have the strap lines and the, the, the everything counts. So... I don't know, I'm at a little bit of a loss, but, I mean, in, internally, it's fine, it's got everything, the proper, you know, so I don't, don't know, anyone else know? Um, you know, I'll ask for my four quid back, you know, if, I just thought, well, for four quid, I could, if, if needs be, I, I could probably get the cover, re, you know, reprinted, um, not quite original, but, Slightly better than, than, than what it is there. So let me show you here. I'll show you one from Paul. So what what you should have, minimal, is is kind of that on the spine. And obviously this has got, it's got nothing. But I don't know, I don't know. I even tried to Google that, you know, no text. Or in case there were a few that were sent out at some point that were, it's obviously not right. It's, it's, it's a knockoff book. I'm trying to sort of do, you know, look on the bright side. Because it just seems too weird. Normally knockoffs would be all the text but badly done and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 
Right, last couple of bits, booter. Bit of the booter. <laughs> there was nothing, right? I mean, absolutely nothing. I wasn't expecting a great deal. It was a, again, every day is a bonus day now. Uh, it was a completely foreign one to me as well. I hadn't been there before. So I was a little bit out of sorts, this, that, and the other. And the car turned up, a couple of girls in it, I said, oh, we've got the game. I said, oh, yeah, I've got a bag of PlayStation stuff. Went through it, I seen a couple of titles. I thought, fucking hell, great. So grab these titles and just sort of just check inside. And I shit you not, none of the games have got the discs in. So I'm guessing they must be in the sleeve or wallet, bar one. So the one game that had, that had the disc, which we could basically miss was Crash Team Racing. Obviously, no insert, but it's got the manual. Right. Spyro Year the Dragon. Great condition, everything cast is in there. No disc. So none of these got discs, I'm not going to bother showing you no disc. This one I grabbed because I thought, I'm after these anyway. Double, double, um, double disc loaded. No disc. Got the manual. I, I have got loaded one and reloaded, and I'm not sure if the discs in them are the black label ones. Um, Tekken 2, same, very good condition boxer. And this one I thought, ah, oh, you bastard. Jurassic Park, Operation Genesis. <laughs> Put the disc. And I said to her, I said, oh, none of these got any discs in. She was like, Joe. and it, it was really busy. I mean, this car boot was horrendous. You know, I talk about the lizards and people diving in cars, and no, these people were getting stuff out of the boot. Not like standing around the boot, they were going in the boot. And it, it was ridiculous, and they're all of a what I would class as probably a potentially illegal status. Fucking parasites, mate. Fucking parasites, a lot of them. But anyway, so, so, so no one got the discs in. She said, oh, she said, oh, I said, I said um, no, she said, oh, I'll just have to, 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 to put them to one side and, and bin them or something. So well, if you want to bin them, I said, oh, I'll have them. And she went, really? I said, well, you take a pound from them? She said, yeah, fine. So, you know, a few of them I might be able to source something to or whatever, but for a quid, I thought that it's got to be worth it. So, yeah, that was all I got at one point. And then I seen this, this bundle. The guy wanted 50 quid for this. And I ummed and ahed for ages, because all I had was, like, a box of empty cases. And... Uh, I went back to him and I, I, I sort of, what's your best you can do on it and this, that, and even he went, well, well there's, all, there's nine games or something. He goes, nine, nine games are worth 40, 40, 45 quid on their own. This, that, and thought, right, 45 quid. So, right, okay, blah, blah, blah. Would you take 45? So, he went, oh, I weren't, I weren't going to go any lower. Because go on another 45 quid. Uh, I have got buyer's regret. I need to get my money back on this. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I might struggle a little bit. A bottle of ball is an M64. I see it for 45 quid. No, I'm joking. A couple of controllers. Sticks are fucked on these, to be honest. But the green one I've mainly bought for the green case because I could always transplant out a decent innards, if you like. And there's a your traditional um, grey one. And then the games. So the games is where the money is, if there's any money in there. Which I think there is. I think I should. So don't break even from this, I'm doing something wrong. So the shitty ones is uh, Superstar Soccer 98. If anyone's interested in these, let me know. Uh, Superstar Soccer 64 and FIFA 98. And then the choicier ones, if, you, if that's the right wording, is uh, Episode 1 Racer. Um, Banjo-Kazooie. Super Mario 64, Zelda, D Kong Racing, and Pokemon Stadium. So, I mean, Pokey, Diddy, Zelda, Mario, Banjo, they're 10 quid there. So, I'll say it's 50 quid really. Minimum 10 quid they are. But I'll say if anyone's interested in any of them, if they want, you know, I'll, I'll chuck in the, you can have the fucking other ones for free. So yeah, a little bit of buyer's regret, admittedly, because I said, I, I was like, oh shit, I don't really, I, I, I would have felt better if I needed two games, even if they were just shit games, it would have justified it a little bit better. I don't like doing stuff like that, because it's just too much of a ball ache. 
Right. Oh yeah. Found him. 50p. Little Dragon Ball Z. I think I've got a bigger one. Yeah, I've got a bigger version of him. So he'll land up somewhere else. And then the last little bit, which is uh, which was quite nice actually. I'd seen this guy oh, earlier on in the year. Another another indoor car boot. And he didn't really recognise me. But he did. He goes, oh, I sort of chatted to him a little bit. And he went, ah, yes. Because you bought all the retro stuff. So that's it. He goes, I don't, he goes, I didn't recognise you. But he goes, I knew that that's what you were after kind of, and I don't know why, but obviously, he, he was he was cool man, he was a cool guy, because basically he had bags of shit that he didn't know what was in it, and he, he did allow me, he goes, no, I'll have a route through man, I'll have a route through, so I did, I cobbled together loads of little bits, there's nothing kind of standing here guys, it's just a nice little, couple of little bits, basically, <laughs> um, I mean two of the things are probably worth what I paid for the whole lot, because I got all this for a tenner, so I managed to grab me a um, official, um, Mega Drive Power Supply Mark II. So these are very good for play, uh, uh, PC engines and stuff like that. And um, 32Xs. So that's probably about 10 is worth there, if, if, if you know, give or take. I've got a, a Game Boy Advance charger. Again, official one. Good couple of quid worths in that alone. Um, Mega Drive controller. Always useful. Bundled together. Another fucking G-Con 2. I'm fucking growing these things. Uh, loose, cool spot on the Mega Drive. Seen this one, I thought this is one of the few ones I haven't got big box. Now, bearing in mind, I've got a couple of big box ones there that I've got nothing in them. Ideal transplant, Destruction Derby 2. Just doesn't have the manual though. Uh, again, I'm not sure if the one I, I haven't got. It big box, well, I think I might have it black label single box, so I'm hopefully I should better to just swap them over. And then he, he, to be fair, he chucked this in for free, which is really nice of him because it's a nice case, nice condition case. Austin Powers pinball, do have that. And then probably the most obscure find of the day, um, a quite nice little controller, I suppose it is, but yeah, it is a Gamester GameCube racing wheel. I suppose, yeah, GameCube. Look. Which I think, if you even if you're playing platformers, probably sits in your hand a lot better because you can just hold it like a platformer. Off the idea is you. So that's it. That's the bullshit over for another week. Oh, I've got nothing in the pipeline, and other than um, Bayonetta Two, Bayonetta Gate. We'll see what comes out of that. If anyone's interested in any of them N64 tiles, let me know. Uh, anyone's got any adapters for the X Arcade, let me know. Be interested in a couple of them because they are quite hard to get hold of, um, admittedly. That's it. Take it easy, YouTube. Speak to you soon. Bye bye. Oh, before I go, well done to Mike, Stankmaster. YouTuber of the month, excellent stuff. Head over there, head over to the 16 Bit Rivers channel and vote. You need to vote. I keep telling people this, I should make a mental note to um, say more about that. But yeah, get over there and vote. It looks like the Sega channel, he's done a very clever thing. And I told Bit Ed and I told everyone else to do this at the time, you've got to promote that. And what they've done, they he did a little video of the Sega channel, he said, Head over here, and fucking hell, man, that guy's like, literally got back like. 50% of the fucking votes just off it, off people coming across. The power of the internet. Anyway, take it easy. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.